is Poppin' Tube Nation. How we doing? Howdy, howdy, hoot. Saved my life. Thank you. Sure. So, this is gonna be a long journey of a video, and this video is sponsored. Let's just talk about the sponsor really quick and then get into the video. So, take it away, future Sarah. Why, hello there. Welcome. That was creepy. So, the lovely company Discord reached out to me and asked if I wanted to start my own Discord server, my own Discord channel, my own community. But little did they know, I already had one from a few years ago. I didn't even really know what Discord was at the time. I just thought it was like a cute little chat room for you guys to talk to each other. But I didn't know you can make multiple channels, voice channels, so you can hear each other's voices and hear my voice whenever I wanted to chime in. Because Discord is a voice, video, and text community. It's everything. I set up a few different channels. So I've got the general channel, and this was the only channel that I had. And y'all have been talking in it already for a while. And I also also added one called relationship advice hee <laughs> hee and I thought that this would be a really cool community just kind of let it all out let's just vent to each other it doesn't have to be a romantic one it could be about friends it could be about family just Let's all help each other over here. I have one called memes with a Z and this is pretty self-explanatory. If you have any really funny memes that you just want to share, you just want to burst through your soul, just lay it all right here. Let's all just sit back and giggle at each other, you know? This one is music and music videos that you love. I love this idea so much. So I feel like this would be a really cool way for all of us to just share really amazing music videos that you're just obsessed with. Crazy visuals, have crazy dancing, or if the lyrics just mean a lot to you. And I also just need new music in general, so I feel like this would be really fun. If you guys have any suggestions for a fun voice channel that we can all participate in, or we can just keep it general. I also, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do an astrology one. Let's do astrology. I feel like that could be fun and interesting. Just share what, what's going on in your Leo life these days. It's Taurus season coming up. That's fun. I'm glad that I just made that. I just thought of that right now. So y'all come over to my Discord server. It's gonna be a party. I feel like all my viewers are pretty like-minded in general, so you could probably make a few friends anyway. And it's completely free. It takes less than 15 seconds to join. Y'all can click the invite link in my description and I'll see you over there. Let's have some fun. But please don't be mean to me. <laughs> I just want to have a good time. I want to read nice things and giggle with y'all like you're my friends. Please don't psychoanalyze me right now. <laughs> I'm pretty fragile. Let's just let's just have a good time. Share music and give each other advice and lift each other up. All right, back to you, Pat Sarah. That is so awesome. Thank you. Isn't that neat? Yeah. <laughs> you're so cute. Stop. <laughs> She's crazy. I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. Uh, this was such a hectic adventure, but at least I have a story to tell. You know? First of all, I look so darling today. Look at my little clips. They're sunflower. No, they're daisies. And then my little pearl necklace. Who am I? I look so darling. Basically, like three weeks ago, I get a text from my assistant, Jenna. She was very excited to tell me that this huge company, they just randomly decided to give me free tickets to this park and rave. So I say, of course. This park and rave is like three hours away. And Jenna said that there's four tickets. So I was trying to think of who to invite. Of course I invited Christelle. And then I was thinking about how Brittany and Emmy told us a few weeks ago that they've never been to an EDM show. They've never been to a rave. Jenna told me that the tickets were VIP. We were in the very front. I know. So I was like, that's really, really nice. This will be really fun for everyone. I offer the idea and they were all gung-ho. They were like, yes, something to look forward to. And I was like, yes, this is the energy that we need right now. And we're just craving stimulation of any kind. We're trying to figure out what to wear. Christelle sends an image. The image is of a man in a cow suit looking out at a lake. And it's the most beautiful, serene picture. The message that she sent along with that said, I'm about to buy this. <laughs> and I'm like, going through the picture. <laughs> I'm going through the pictures. <laughs> I'm literally screaming. <laughs> Oh my god, they're 
a video. <laughs> Fucking, I need four of them. <laughs> At first, I was like, four giant inflatable cows headbanging to EDM music in the front row. Is that magical? If you saw that from afar at a rave, especially if you're like on drugs, if you're like on acid, and you just see four inflatable cows on the rail, just like. Would that send people into a bad trip where they spiral or go into a loop? <laughs> Freak the fuck out. I mean, if you're like me, you haven't spent much time around cows. I've only been around cows maybe, I don't know, a few times in my life, but I did really enjoy them and I love cows. I mean, cows are like gigantic puppies. For the most part, they're really sweet and gentle animals and cows are fascinating. So the question is, are cows being harmed? Are cows being harmed? Since over 90% of the animal products we eat come from factory farms, the cows that are raised for food are more often than not crammed by the hundreds and sometimes thousands. Or would that be just the best thing ever to see on a truck at a rave? But this is what my brain does. Why am I thinking about that? Who cares? I can't control the way people perceive me. I responded and I said, I'm down. I'm down. They responded like 20 minutes later and they were just stoked on life. They immediately bought one and that was the plan. My excitement got the best of me, okay? Let's set the scene. It's two days before the rave and I'm sitting in my room. We already bought the cow costumes and I'm like, how do I make this experience even more elevated? Christelle took it to that next step and I feel like there's one more step further we could take this. And I was like, I know exactly what I have to do right now. We need to feel like we're in the 70s, traveling a few hours to go to a music festival. I rented a camper van, not just like your regular van. It's a big girl. It is a big girl. It's the same company that I bought the van from Coachella. Each van is spray painted something different and something beautiful and magical and cool. So I hop in this big mama of a van and I'm driving home and I feel like such a bad bitch. I feel so cool, I feel powerful. It was so cute because every single time I was at a stoplight, I would look over and there would be little kids in the cars next to me like taking pictures of my van or like showing their mom and dad my van. And I felt like a celeb, I was like, huh? yeah, kids, I know, so cool, flowers, I know. So I'm on my way home and then I spark an idea. I'm gonna be filming this experience anyway. <laughs> How can I even elevate from this? We're gonna do some investing today that are like solid tax write-offs, you know? Let's expand my business. I purchased two GoPros. Ooh, I know, I know. And I got those fucking suction cup GoPro mounts, James Corden carpool karaoke style. I am taking it there. I am pushing boundaries, people. You've never seen a YouTuber do it before. Huh. <laughs> so I get the shit and I'm on my way home. Something deep inside of me was just like, girl, don't get too excited. And I couldn't tell if it was just my anxiety trying to stop me from finally being excited or if it was my intuition just being like, relax, we don't know what to tell you. It got so bad where I was driving home and I started talking out loud to God. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? This is gonna be a great time. This is gonna be what? a great time. What? I'm manifesting this on my life. I was singing all the way home, trying to switch the narrative that it was gonna be a flop. <laughs> so the next day happens, me and Christelle leave at like four o'clock because it's a three hour drive. We pick up Emmy first. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh <laughs> Emmy, 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 ah! Emmy. <laughs> And then we pick up Brittany, she was next. Get filmed. Woo! <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> she is here. She has arrived. What the? 
What is this camera? It's a GoPro. They're GoPros. <laughs> We're going! <laughs> dogs in like a yard and she we're just having a hoot and a half on our way to this rave we're listening to tunes we're talking our shit <laughs> clips i want you guys to know that emmy and britney's bladders almost exploded and there were no rest stops for miles and miles and miles and this one little city that we found had three fast food places but none of them let us come inside to pee so this was what we just had to do hey everyone we are in jack in the box and we just peed behind a dumpster I wiped with a receipt in a plastic bag. Yes, she did. <laughs> Jack in the Box more like Jill in the Box. Dude! Right, Women's History Month? Ah! There's... What'd you say? <laughs> I said Jack in the Box more like Jill in the Box. Am I right, Women's History Month? Woo! I lost my virginity on National Women's Day. Oh. And I didn't even know. I didn't even realize it was National Women's Day. Oh, no, like a, you didn't even know you lost it. Oh my god, that'd be horrible. That's fucking Jack. Sarah. Sarah. Couple from in the car with the dog. But they're murderers. Where? They have a child in their backseat. I'm nervous. Oh my god, we're so high up. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you guys want sauce? 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 Yeah. Ranch, ranch, ranch. Could I get a uh, ranch and barbecue? It's four. Four. Oh, wait. You ride for me. Hey. Thank you. A simple seven dollars. Nice. Thank you. That's yours, babe. Where, where am I going? We're pissing outside. Pissing oh, outside. we're pissing outside. I'll piss anywhere. Where are we pissing? <laughs> where are we pissing? Okay. Well, you can pause right what? here. What? <laughs> Is this where you piss, Emmy? Do your damn there, thing. It smells like <laughs> here you go. Bono. Bono. What do you said? How do you squat? Like this. You just. What do you mean, how do you squat? You gotta get really low. Yeah. Do you just yes. take your pants off? Yeah, yeah, you take them off and you just go like this. Like all the way off? Lean yeah, on your knees. Sure, sure. <laughs> get a termite. Do it right or here. Just, or just, oh, Brittany, just stand and pull your skirt to the side. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's looking. We won't look. You said you won't look anywhere. I'm you gonna run the window up. I'm nervous. You no. go. Teriyaki? I don't know. Oh, oh, Dude, those love flowers, you. like. Flashback up Wait, did you get nuggets bit, too? Yeah. No. Wait, then I also peed nuggets. right where you peed. I realized extra nuggets. Really did you see all my pee? Yeah. yeah. Well, we have extra nuggets. Yeah. Perfect. I forget. Where is the car full of singers? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, can we harmonize that? Four part? Okay, here it is. Ready? So you start it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Like, it was like hauntingly. It reminded, <laughs> it reminded me of the Catholic Church. 
Yeah, yeah. That was kind of nice. So then we get into town around 7 o'clock. We meet up with the girl at the hotel. She gives us the tickets. We're talking. I'm checking in. Let's call the girl from the company Susie. So Susie was like, yeah, I brought my friends too. Just let us know when you're about to leave and we will leave at the same time as you guys. And I was like, oh shit. Okay. And I felt kind of bad because I didn't want to like hold them up if they wanted to go. But then she kept reiterating the fact that like, it's, it's fine. They're pre-gaming. They had to DD off. Obviously. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it should be like maybe 20 minutes. No. We go up to the room and we decide to get into our cow costumes and inflate that shit, pump that shit up. All of our inner child came to the surface when we had these massive cow suits on. We were taking shots and the more shots that we took, the more fun we were having in our hotel room. But Christelle was the DD, so she was vibing. <laughs> Uh-huh. The way that we all have poor thing hips in these, cure it. So do you think I get a death drop in this? Take your time. I'm starting the countdown in ten. Oh wait, I need to get that. Shit. Oh wait, oh, shit. everybody okay. gets it. Uh, 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 okay. uh, That's where Chris is. Uh, Let me get in front. Uh, 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 <laughs> do it again. I feel like Sorry. we can do it better. Yeah, we can do it better. Okay. Uh, I'm a beast when you turn me on. <laughs> Into the future Cybertron. How about one of these hard mm, mm, Better strong. I get the ladies extra long. I bet we gonna be now. So we ended up leaving the hotel room. It was like 7.55. I'm like, hey, I don't wanna like kill this moment that we're having. But I put my foot down and I'm like, all right, ladies, let's get our shit together. Let's head on out of here. Cause uh, Susie just texted me again. So let's go. And y'all, this was an experience in itself and I wish that someone recorded this. It was four giant cows waddling down the hallway to the elevator. It was hard for us to squeeze in the elevator, but we made it work. The four of us are in an elevator. We were on the seventh floor and we pushed the lobby button and then it goes down to the fifth floor. And we were like, oh shit. <laughs> y'all, the elevator doors open and it's two preteen girls looking at four giant inflatable cows. And they were like, what the fuck? And they started laughing so hard, we were laughing. And then once Brittany started laughing, <laughs> the two girls look at Brittany and they were like, wait a second, wait a second. And then as they were realizing that it was Britney, the door started closing because I was pushing the lobby button like a million times because they couldn't even get in because they didn't fit. But also Susie was waiting for us downstairs in the lobby. So I was like, sorry guys, hi. And Britney was like, hi. And they're like, hi. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> sorry. Britney was like, oh, I love y'all. And the door closes and we were fucking screaming because i want y'all to know we were in butt fuck nowhere california what the fact that these two preteen girls not only saw four cows in an elevator but it was also britney and then the elevator goes down to level three and we were like are you kidding me y'all elevator door opens up onto the third floor 10 preteen girls in front of our face, 10 of them. We don't know if this was like a volleyball tournament. We don't know like what the fuck was going on, but there were so many preteen girls running around. I don't know what was happening. When the preteen girls saw us, they were 
freaking the fuck out, because how funny would that be to see as a preteen? All these cows looking stressed, might I add. We were stressed because we needed to get to Susie because Susie was like, what's your ETA? And we were like, oh, we're trying to come. Y'all, the 10 preteen girls, they did the same exact thing. They recognized Brittany again and they were all like, wait a second, wait a second. And as the door was closing in, they were trying to like get into the cracks and like get their phones out to record. It was just, it was mayhem. We finally make it to the lobby. We're waddling out of the elevator of a Marriott. We make it to the parking lot. There was a lot of people in the way. We hop into the van. I'm blasting Jonas Brothers. We started following Susie to the rave. We're like five minutes away and we are driving on this dirt road in the middle of nowhere. Not a building in sight. Very sketch, very creepy looking. We pull up and we're driving on this dirt road. All of a sudden we like look over and we see one solid stage in the middle of nowhere. And we were just like, okay, might get murdered. That's kind of a cool way to go out, you know, at a music festival. In cow suits. First of all, we pulled up. It was like right next to the stage kind of, so you can see the crowd. We look in the crowd and there's just like a clusterfuck of people in the front, not socially distanced, just all clomped together. There were a few people with no masks on. The four of us were like, what is that? And so we were like, okay, that's unsafe, but we're not just gonna go to the front, noted. I was expecting security to check our tickets, to search our cars, because it said on the tickets that they were going to search every person's car. No one looked at our tickets when we entered. No one searched our car. We just drove right through. So we turned into the VIP section and all of the sudden, this security guard, runs out, running at our van, and he's screaming at us. Stop! What the fuck are you doing? And we were like, what? It was so aggressive. Christelle like breaks it. This guy is like yelling at us and it's in my window. I'm trying to like tone it down. I'm like, bro, relax, relax. Cause he thought that we were just trying to like sneak into the VIP. We were like, dude, I'm with this company. They told me that this is where our section is. Another security guard pops up out of nowhere and screamed so loud in Christelle's face. And she didn't even know that he was standing there cause she was looking at me. He's in Christelle's ear being like, what are you doing? Christelle was like, oh my, what can you, like we've got two men on each side of the car yelling at us. I found the tickets and I was like, see here. And they were like, that says general admission. Y'all gotta go to the very fucking back. I knew y'all were trying to sneak in. And I like grabbed my phone. I was like, oh my God, what? And I was so confused. I was like, Susie told me. We were in the via. I was like, it doesn't matter, like, who cares? I don't care about that shit, but it was just humiliating having these two men saying that they don't give a fuck what company I'm here for. I'm like, oh my god, okay. And I was so embarrassed because, like, I was telling Brittany, Emmy, and Christelle, like, yeah, we're in the VIP, we're in the front row. We might get even called up on stage with our cow suits on. And the fact that the guy was like, get in the back. We were like, okay, all right. While all of this was happening, on stage was the main DJ. <laughs> like the, the headliner of the show. I guess the two openers came out at six and seven and then the main event started at eight. The main DJ is on stage and everyone is just going buck wild in the crowd. Our favorite songs that were being played at that moment and we couldn't enjoy it because these two men are yelling at us. So we missed like the best songs. Christelle is so stressed because she's the one that has to drive drive this fucking giant van and maneuver out. Since we got there when the main DJ was out, we were in the very back row. Since we were in the very back, we couldn't really hear the music that well. Like we could, it wasn't hidden. 
and we parked right next to Susie because I guess she got yelled at before us, but we didn't see that happening because we lost her. We pulled up next to her and she felt so bad. She was like, my company told me that this was it, but apparently it was this. And I'm like, it's all right, you didn't know. Like, I'm not mad. It's unfortunate that that happened, but like, it's fine. We're still gonna have fun anyway. Brittany and Emmy had to go to the bathroom. So they went to the porta potties and then they were just like filming TikToks with people. Like people were coming up to them. People were taking TikToks of them. Meanwhile, Christelle's having an anxiety attack. I'm trying to like talk to Susie and her friends so that they don't feel bad because they were feeling really bad about Christelle having an anxiety attack about all of this. There was just like a lot of energy going around. Emmy and Brittany came back and once Christelle kind of calmed herself down a little bit, we just bopped around, head banged, and danced for the remainder of the 45 minutes that the guy was on stage. <laughs> We were just trying to make those guys feel comfortable since it was their first time rolling ever. But oh my God, when I watched that footage back, I was like, Sarah, <laughs> yeah, bro. We're like in our bodies right now at the same time. I just wanted them to feel understood. They were so high. <laughs> and then, you know, it was over and people started getting in their car and I'm like, damn. And so then we all get back to the hotel and I was still trying to drink and like party, but Brittany and Emmy were exhausted. And I was like, I get that. I get that. Hey. I'm back in the van. We're hungover. Hungover as fuck. Not doing well. Not doing well. We're about to get a Duncan. A donkey, if a you will. Donkey. A donkey. <laughs> We're getting a donkey! Hey, girls! Ah, ah, ah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. Can I retell a little sh short story from last night? Sure, sure. We were all laying in bed, and Sarah comes in after trekking outside to go get her puff. <laughs> Dude, it was like, what? Y'all heard that? It was like four in the morning. Strips naked, lays in the bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! I literally was like, all right, I'm gonna close my eyes now. <laughs> and then it's quiet for like 20 seconds. She goes, Crystal, I love Justin Bieber. <laughs> Crystal, you're such a good friend though. You were like, I love Duke. <laughs> I was like about to cry. I was like borderline about to cry about and it. I was trying not to laugh and then you go, know, I got my peaches out in Georgia. <laughs> Crystal says, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Silent after we said that, Brittany goes, Can y'all shut up? Can y'all? <laughs> she said, Are y'all really doing this? No, but I just thought that Brittany and Emmy were dead asleep, like just I gone. I heard something about killing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, what did I you say? I just Bieber almost killed himself. Oh, yes. I was like, I'm just so proud of him, guys. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, then we ended up just all talking for like an hour. An hour and a half after. And very that was camp. very true. Yes, camp counselor type shit. Who was the fucking camp counselor? <laughs> we Nobody. we all attended. are. Our cabin was unattended. Do you oh, see no. my shirt? It was the camp counselor room. Yes. We were all counselors and our kids were down I just mm -hmm. genuinely feel like they were our counselors and we were the campers. <laughs> no no campers. We are the fucking campers. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Such a cute word. <laughs> campers. Oh God, campers. Yeah, it was fun. Festival was a shit show, but we made the most of it. It was fun. We danced. I we had laughed. a panic attack, but it was we, fun. we cried, we danced, we laughed, we sang. I ended up having a panic attack because they freaked me out that bad because it was two men yelling at us. And I couldn't even get drunk about it because I was the DD. We calmed down, we inflated our suits, and the cows were ready to rock. <laughs> and that is what we did. We rocked on all night long. We rocked on. <laughs> the cows rocked on people all night People loved long. us. We, we took so many pictures of people. They loved the cow We suits. did. Every single time that I saw a camera light recording us, it, oh my god, dopamine rushed through my entire body. And I would like walk over to each camera light and like dance for them and I would like twerk on the ground. <sighs> It was fun. It was a lot of fun. What is on my, what are these streaks on my neck? Your tears from last night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, you just really exposed me. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Wow. These are from my tears? Yeah. Because you have them here what? too. <laughs> Yay, two out of the four of us sobbed last night. We needed that. We did. Of tears you guys down my face. Guys, don't let's build it before you get to the window. Yes. Please don't get kidnapped. But what if is? I do? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Loose camp camp. We got a, we got a loose kid. camper. We got a loose camper. You're <laughs> setting up for the return. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for it to come around. I feel like okay. Yeah. One more time, one more time. You did it! I can't. You did it! We got a camper on the run. <laughs> Christelle, the sign is for you. DD! Uh, me. The designated driver. I want to put my cow suit back on. Me too. Avocado toast. Yes, God. Oh, she's so cute. Ooh. Ah, it's so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Wait, I need my phone also. Did you say paste? Yeah. Feels very inauthentic. Now that you said paste, it's freaking me out. I'm like about to gag. <laughs> Avocado paste, and then she said, like, it came out of a tube, and I was imagining, like, someone squeezing the paste out of the tube, <laughs> putting it on here. It's just, you're so right, though. That's exactly what it tastes like. Because if you look at it, this is not an avocado. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, stop! Dude, I'm about to throw up. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Ew. Okay, 7 oh Eleven, anyone? Yeah. I can't even look at it. <laughs> Dude, that <laughs> fucked me up. It's so gross about that. It's Avocados so being squeezed out of a tube? Well, it's <laughs> avocado, but it's like just pureed. Avocados. I know, it just freaks me out. What the fuck, Duncan? Like the what the fuck, what? Duncan? I said the I was imagining like mayonnaise texture out of a tube, like, or like easy cheese, you know, out of like a tin can. Ew. I wish that I could have finished that anyway, but I was so hungover and I felt like I was gonna puke anyway, just in general. And just that really, that um, that was the tip of the iceberg for me. And we get out of the car all deflated in our cow suits <laughs> and we're in the parking lot and we're getting all of our shit and these random people come up and they're like, oh, your fucking cow suits, it's so sick. Can we get a picture? And we're like, yeah, we get a picture with them. And then Sarah's like, so like, what's the vibe? What are you guys doing tonight? We thought it was cute. Maybe 15 seconds. Literally, it was like less than a minute we were talking to them. And they're like, they're so cool. <laughs> and exchange numbers. Y'all were trying to go to bed. And I'm like, we're what like is the move? We're inching away from the van. And <laughs> Sarah's like, no. So I'm like, what the fuck is that? I said, I said, are y'all still drinking? <laughs> We stopped at the store. I go up to the cash register and as I'm handing him my card, I gagged 
loud. It was so humiliating because it looked like I was grossed out by the cashier. He like looked at me and my eyes started watering from gagging and I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm really hungover and I keep gagging. It's not you. And he was like, ha ha ha. And I was like, ha ha ha. And it was just, my face got hot. I was like, I can't even imagine what's going through his mind. Way to ruin someone's day on accident. It was rough. And yeah, uh, we hit the road. Christelle was nice enough to drive back home. Great car ride home. We felt like we were Christian camp counselors while we were driving there and back in this big ass bus. When we dropped Emmy off, we we're like, damn, we're really losing a camper. Bye girly. And she's off just like that. We'll never see her again. Can't believe she's being sent away. To what? <laughs> Boarding school? Yeah. <laughs> and then we dropped Brittany off and bittersweet. Bye, Brittany. Bye, Whitney. We love you. Be safe. Bye. Be safe. Be safe. Oh, our little camper. Bye, happy camper. Bye, little camper. Oh my god, I'm so ready to be in bed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give her a fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos. And yeah, love ya. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you that I love you. 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'm